Hi, I'm Matthew and I do music performance here at Queen's. This is the music building that we're standing outside. The Lanyon building's that way and the library's down that way. So do you want to nip inside? This is the entrance to the music building. Everyone usually sits here before lectures and stuff and it's where you meet a lot of new people. Over here is the Hardy Room. The steps down there go down to the practice rooms and the McMorty Hall is up the steps there, just to the right. This is the Hardy Room. Let's go inside, take a look. The Hardy Room used to be the old Students' Union cafeteria. It's changed a lot in the last lot of years. It's now the main performance space in this building. The class that's on here at the moment is first year solo performance. As you can see, there's two grand pianos on the stage. These are pretty amazing grand pianos, not gonna lie. The room is really reverberant, which is great for singers or any classical performers that are performing, as these first year solo performers will find out. Um, it's great as well because there's a lot of orchestral percussion instruments and a double bass in the music store, which is just over there on the left. There's a studio which also links up to this room, which means that any performances in this room can be recorded as well, which is very handy, especially if someone's looking to use the nice acoustics in here. Um, the room can also be booked out, so if you have a recital coming up, whether that's for solo performance or ensemble performance, you can book out this room to practice in here with the right acoustics. So we're going to go up to the McMorty Hall. This is the McMorty Hall. This room's kind of used for everything really. There's lectures that go on here, whether it's writing about music or any other theory lectures like musicianship. Um, there's a piano, there's an organ, there's a lot of equipment in here as well. It's great for lectures, it's quite a resonant room. There's performances that happen in here as well. I did my first year solo performance recital in here. All the desks move out of the way, they don't sit there stationary. Now I'm going to take you down to the practice rooms. Down here is the practice rooms. There's quite a lot of practice rooms. It's a bit of a maze down here, but you get used to it very quickly. A studio there. Um, it's the Harrison studio. It's where some of the recordings are recorded up in the Hardy room upstairs. There's a practice room here. Another practice room over there on the left. These stairs here lead up to the lecture rooms and one of the exits. In here is the postgrad room, which is a little computer suite for everyone to sit in. That's quite a big practice room in on the left that would usually be used for ensembles, but there's a piano in it, and there's pianos in all the practice rooms down here, but it's pretty handy if you're rehearsing with a nice acoustic ensemble. There's a lift in here. This can be quite handy if you're carrying heavy instruments down here, like drums or a double bass. It's really easy to book rooms here. There's usually a room free anyway somewhere, but um, if you can't get one booked, there is booking systems which allow you to book them for whatever time you need to use them. So, as you can hear, this is where most of the practice rooms are. Most of these practice rooms have upright pianos, which is where everyone's practicing at the moment. But you go in here, practice clarinet, whatever instrument you play. There's a lot of singers that will practice down here too. So this is one of the practice rooms here. This is probably the nicest practice room. It has a mini grand piano and lots of chairs um, for if you're practicing with an ensemble or, or if you're having a lesson. It's quite well lit as well. There's plenty of windows around here as it sits kind of in the corner. And out there, just through that window, is where the library is. And the Lanyon building is just over there. We're going to go to the lecture room now through the rest of the building. There's another seating area there as well for people waiting to go into lectures. And just here on the left, there's another entrance to the McMorty Hall. And this is one of two ways to get to the lecture room. That door takes you to the balcony of the McMorty Hall, which is up above the lecture area. 
And through here is the main staff corridor. So this is the main corridor where the lecturer's offices are. As you can see, there's chairs sitting outside the rooms, which is for people who are waiting on tutorials with their lecturers, just for whatever module they take. Um, the lecturers themselves are really approachable. You can knock on their door whenever they're in, but a lot of times they will be taking lectures. But even if you see them around the corridors and stuff, they're always happy to stop and have a chat with you about whatever you're having problems with. So this room is the main lecture room. It's on the top floor of the building. As you can see, this is a very well lit room. There's a lot of desks, which is obviously where the students sit, and a nice grand piano and a harpsichord. There's a record player at the front as well for the lecturers to play old records on, but there's also computers and a whole system. So any students that bring recordings with them, whether it's for composition or scoring and arranging or any of the other lectures that are taken in here, they can just be plugged in and played. Sometimes they're played at a class, but if you don't want your pieces to be played at a class and you just want the lecturer to hear them, then that's perfectly okay. Just tell your lecturer beforehand. The whole system in here is great. There's a whole speaker system, just as there is in the other lecture rooms as well, but this one's particularly good. Sometimes recitals are done in here as well. Solo singers would often sing in here um, because the acoustics are really good for that sort of thing. This is the other staircase to go down. Um, this is technically the fire staircase, but if you can hear, there's very reverberant acoustics in here. A lot of times you'd catch singers in here just practicing or warming up for any recitals or platforms that they have. Um, this would also be maybe the quickest route to get up to the lecture room if you're down beside the McMorty Hall or in the practice rooms as well. These stairs here actually lead down to the practice rooms. So if you want to come back out to the lobby then. We're going to go out now and look at the practice rooms under the law building. The music building is very central. Uh, the Lanyon building is literally just up here on the left. Um, this street here leads down to Botanic. Um, Botanic Gardens is actually just on the right, along with the library when you get down here. And um, Botanic Avenue, I think it is, is on the left, um, which is where a lot of students will go to get their lunch, you know, and go to the shop. With the purple door over there, number 20, is the Queen's Film Theatre. A lot of times, music students would collaborate with film students, um, whether it's, you know, with recordings or um, making music for their films at times. This is the door that leads down to the practice rooms. Most music students will have an access to this. It's mainly if you play drum kit or electric guitar, but any ensemble students get access to it as well. You can always ask for permission to access it if you need it for any other group rehearsals as well. These are the practice rooms under the law building. There's three main practice rooms and then a studio that can record into any of these rooms. So this is where drum kits and electric guitars at times would be recorded, especially bands as well, if you're trying to get a live recording of a band. This is my favorite practice room, the green room. Um, so these rooms have quite a lot of stuff in them. As you can see, there's a PA system with a mixer, which is great for any vocalists. There's a bass amp as well, and the recording cabinet, which links into the recording studio. There's the drum kit as well. The kits down here are quite nice. Anytime if heads break or cymbals break or anything, they're replaced really, really quickly. I'd be down here all the time practicing the drums because that's what I personally play, but I'm also down here all the time practicing with my own ensemble group. Um, all the music students would have access to this. There's a piano as well, which is pretty handy. Guitar amps, lots of chairs, lots of mics, lots of mic stands. Just, it's a really great space. We've just come from the practice rooms under the law building. The music building, where we started, is just up about 30 meters away. 